Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to set up farm grid and auto replant. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is go to our uh, Valheim uh, directory where our files are located. So this is a clean install of Valheim. Uh, there's nothing in here. Uh, this is a fresh install of Valheim. You can do that by just uh, going back a directory and then just right clicking and deleting the Valheim folder. And then you can go to your games and uh, right click on Valheim and Steam. And go to manage, uh, I'm sorry, properties. Go to properties. And then go over here to local files. And then you're going to say verify the integrity. And it's going to say, well, you don't have anything there. So it's going to re download it for you. And then you'll have a clean install of Valheim. So once you've done that, you have a clean install of Valheim. We're going to want to install four, th four things here. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is go to nexusmods.com, uh, and then you're just going to add at the end of it slash Valheim. All right, so then up here where it says mods, you're going to click on that and go down to the most endorsed. You're going to click on that. And you'll see here the very first one we're going to download is Valheim Plus, and that's going to grab some other stuff for you too. So uh, to download that, you just click here and then scroll down to where it says Files. And uh, we don't want the Unix server. Or vortex the Valheim plus Windows client we're going to download this one so you would just click on manual download and then just click on slow download I'm not going to download it again because I already have it on my desktop um, so we're going to grab Valheim plus uh, the next one that you want to look for is here farm grid oops close that come on thank you okay the next one you want is called farm grid and you're going to do the same thing you're going to click here scroll down go down to where it says files and uh farm grid and you're going to say manual download here and you'll download that the same way now the next one you're going to want to search for is called crop replant so start typing crop and you'll see crop replant now this one's going to be a little tricky so you're going to want to download this so we'll scroll down and he just updated this, I believe it was yesterday. Um, so you go to files. And you, oddly enough, I don't think this one, well, maybe this one was updated. No. You're, you're still going to want to grab this one for now. He hasn't updated this one here. Um, precise rotation. JD edition and you're going to want to manually download this now you're going to get a warning you need these two files as well well we already have the bepinx from installing valheim plus you are going to want to download this one so you'll click here for the jotun and same thing you're going to just go to files download manual download and you'll download Jotun. Um, and then you would come back here and you would just hit downloads and then you'll download uh, the crop replant. Just choose slow download. Like I said, I'm not going to download these again because I already have them downloaded. So you'll take these out of your directory, your download directory, and 
just extract them. So this was Valheim Plus. This is Farm Grid. This is the uh, precise rotation, which is Crop Replant and Jotun. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And I just made a shortcut on my desktop to the Valheim directory. So you just click here. So this is Valheim, of, like I said, a, a clean install of Valheim. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to this Valheim Plus and just click anywhere inside here and hit Control A and then Control C. And we're just going to copy all these files into our Valheim directory. So you can just click anywhere in here and Control V or right click and say paste. And you can see now we have the BEP and X. We have some other folders here and we have some other files that were added here. That's fine. So we've installed uh, Valheim Plus. Now the next thing we want to do, let's close that out. We want to install Farm Grid. Well, where do we install Farm Grid? Well, we just go into this BEP and X folder here. And then under Plugins, we go inside Plugins. Now you can see the Valheim Plus DLL was installed here. So we're just going to grab the, well, let's go in here and then we go Plugins. So we can just uh, right click on this and just say Copy or however you want to do it, Copy, and then go back to here and we're going to paste it in here. So now we have Farm Grid is installed. Let me close this out. And now we want to grab, uh, it doesn't matter, precise rotation. So we click here, and it's really called crop replant. So we'll right click on that, copy, and then we'll go down here to our Valheim plugin directory, and we'll hit paste. And crop replant uh, needs that Joe tune. So you just go here. We open up this folder, and you just want the first one here, the, jo the jotune.dll. So right-click on that, copy, go down to your Valheim folder, and hit paste. Okay, so now we've installed everything. So let's launch Valheim, and you'll see this command prompt pop up, and you can watch stuff loaded. You'll see a red arrow real quick right there because there was no configuration files. We're going to go back in a minute and it, it created configuration files for us. So we can click on back here in Valheim and you can see it says Valheim Plus. So we're going to quit and we're in the plugins directory here. Actually, I'll just close this out. So We'll go back to our Valheim folder, and we're going to go back into BEP and X again. And if you look now in the config folder, config, you'll see now we have configuration uh, files for all of our. We have the farm grid. There's some config. There's a configuration there. Uh, the BEP and X config, uh, the crop replant config, and the Valheim Plus config. Let's edit the Valheim Plus config. You don't have to do this. This is optional. Uh, edit with Notepad++. Um, so the first thing you want uh, that I usually edit, if you scroll down to where it says items, and it says uh, change false to true to enable this section. So right now it's set to false. So the first thing I'm going to do is say true. So that's enabled equals true. And uh, right here, enable you to teleport with ores through the portals. And I'm going to set that to true. And um, if we scroll up a little bit here, what you're looking for is these uh, brackets here. And these are each one of the sections. We're in G right now. Uh, furnaces, I believe it's fire is the one we want. Fire source. So this right here, search for fire source. Um, 
and then we're just going to set this to true. So we have to enable a section, so we're going to change this to true. And then this is just so that way all your tor torches stay lit. You don't have to run around uh, refueling all your torches. So those are the two things I like to change. You can change more things in here. You can change a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, so save those settings, control S or click the little save there. So now we can transfer, uh, we can go through the portals with ores on us. If you don't want to turn that on, you don't have to, that's up to you. Okay. So let's launch Valheim again and you shouldn't see the red here in the command prompt. You should not see the red line anymore because it found the configuration files. Okay, so we are going to start a game. Yeah, hit start. Um, so we'll just go to my farm tutorial world. And we'll just get the basics out of the way. And hopefully it's daytime. Okay, so um, what you can see over there is I just used Farm Grid to plant some stuff. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, hit Tab, open up. Now you want to make sure you have your cultivator equipped. You also want to make sure you have seeds or whatever it is you want to plant on you. So for this example, I'm going to put my cultivator in my hand. And then I'm going, I just press the eight key. I have mine located at the eight with the eight key. Um, it's set to cultivate right now. So I'm going to right click on the mouse. And for this example, I'm going to plant uh, turnips. So I just click on turnips. Now you don't see anything yet. And I'm sorry, it's still a little dark. I probably should have waited till daytime. Um, you can see over here, when I hover over here, you can see the grid lines up with what I had already planted here. So I could continue my grid on, but over here we don't have a grid yet because we haven't started planting it. So what I want to do is you can see the little, I really should wait till daytime for this. I think it's turning into nighttime. <sighs> and I don't know how to set it today. Well, anyway, you plant your first one. Now you notice the grid, and if I can scroll around with my mouse, and you'll see, oh, my grid, I want my grid to go this way or this way, or whichever way you want it to go, you line your grid up. So I want to stay right along that edge on the outside there, and just plant the second one. So just hit the left mouse button. So now the grid's locked in. Well, somewhat. Still not locked in yet. There we go. Now it's locked in. Yeah. Takes a little getting used to, but and it's also dark, so you can't see, but you'll if I really should have done this during the daytime. Okay. All right, so we're going to jump out of here. Hopefully my other world is during the daytime. I don't know. I haven't played Valheim in a while. Uh, start game. 
Let's just go to Farm World. Okay, good. It's daytime here. All right, so you can see the crops are all planted here. Now we're going to use um, the auto replant feature. Um, so what you want to do is make sure hit the tab key. Make sure you have whatever it is you're going to be planting in your inventory. Um, for this example, I'm going to be planting carrots to get carrot seeds that's what these are so I'm gonna to want to make sure I have carrots in my inventory and what you do is uh, with the cultivator in your hand right click and I want to plant uh, that seed turnip there's the seed carrot so you're gonna plant a carrot so click there and basically go up these are all ready to harvest and you're going to click your secondary attack which is the middle mouse wheel you press it down and you can see i just harvested and replanted in a uh three by three area here i can just click on this one over here and it gives me the three by three there i can just pick up all the seeds by walking over um you can change right now it's set to a uh two a tube i think it says two away um in a crop replant in the config file you can make it bigger if you want to it'll only um if you notice the carrots over here didn't get affected because i clicked on the seeds here the carrot seeds you can see it's only going to pick up the carrot seeds and then replant carrots, which will turn into seeds. If I go over here to the carrots, and then I just right click, and I say um, the uh, carrot, just regular carrots, there we go, regular carrots. Um, if I click on my carrots over here, you see it harvest them, and then it replanted them all you can't i'm not sure if you can see that yeah you can see that so you can just eat, like i said you can make that grid bigger so middle mouse button and it harvests them and it replants them so the grid doesn't the grid is still the same um we've got turnips over here etc etc it's the same thing so that's pretty much it um that's uh farm grid and auto replant just how to install them and how to use them in the game um i'll just take a quick look in the config file for farm grid we'll open that with no plus no pad plus plus um this default spacing, this is the extra amount added just to make sure the cro crops aren't um, to, uh, interfering with each other. This farm grid sections, it says two. You can bump this up to some more if you want to make that three by three a little bigger. I believe. I've never changed it, so. Yeah, but that's it. So hopefully this helps people get their farms in a grid. <laughs> Thanks for watching.